Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be covering a very important implementation from the guys at Home Assistant. The ability to add Home Assistant to your car info entertainment system through the use of Apple CarPlay, which is amazing news. And for you Android phone users, in December, Google released an update to finally accept IoT apps into the Play Store. So the Home Assistant guys are also working on that front too. If you are an Apple or an Android phone user, the future is going to be very exciting. But we'll focus on Apple CarPlay for this demonstration. So let's dive on into the car and see what all the fuss is about. There are a few obvious prerequisites. You're going to need to have a car that's fitted with Apple CarPlay. There is no mention of version for your implementation of CarPlay in your car. And this would be manufacturer and model specific. Your mileage might vary, pun intended. You'll also need the Home Assistant Companion app, version 2024.1. I'd always recommending updating to the latest version for features and security. Your iPhone will need to be running on iOS 16 or above, but since 54% of people are running iOS 17 at this time of filming, and you're obviously a tech savvy person by the fact that you're watching this video, this should not be an issue, unless you're on an older unsupported phone. You'll need to have Home Assistant Core version 2024.1 or newer. Installation could not be easier if you have the Home Assistant Companion app loaded and are already configured to access your Home Assistant. Then on your iPhone, navigate to Settings. In the search bar, search for CarPlay and select General CarPlay. Select your car, select Customize, scroll to the bottom. Use the three lines or the hamburger on the right of Home Assistant and position it where you want it to appear on your screen on your car. Once done, press back and back again and you're done. It's literally that simple. Moving to the car, we should now see that Home Assistant is displayed. Opening Home Assistant in CarPlay, you'll be dropped into the Action tab with three other tabs for Area, Control, Servers. We'll come back to actions as this needs to be configured. The areas tab, as the name suggests, gives you a list of areas that you have created within Home Assistant. Drilling down into a specific area, you will see a list of devices and entities within that area. You can now toggle any of these devices states. There is no additional drill down available below this level. So don't expect to be adjusting the colors of your lights from this tab. Well, not just yet. The control tab will group devices and entities by their domains. This is not an exhaustive list, but covers the nine most used domains with more to come. These domains are buttons, covers, input booleans, input buttons, lights, locks, scenes, scripts, and switches. Drilling into the domain brings up all related devices and entities and allows you to toggle the state. Once again, don't expect to drill any further to allow you for setting blind position. The server tab shows the Home Assistant instance that your Home Assistant Companion app is linked to. To verify this on the Home Assistant Companion app, navigate to Settings, Companion app. You will see the server, which is your Home Assistant instance that the app is linked to. For the vast majority of people, this will just show you a single instance of Home Assistant that is running at your home. However, you might have a development instance or another instance at your parents' home that you can access. This feature will allow you to navigate between these Home Assistant instances. The Action tab is probably the most interesting of all the tabs and the one that will cause the most questions. This is our first look at Actions and there will be many more videos to come around configuration of Actions. Basically, a Home Assistant CarPlay action is a way for you to execute an automation in Home Assistant. A similar concept has been around in the Apple Watch since May 2019. So these are not new, but the implementation of these into Home Assistant Apple CarPlay is. As with most configuration in Home Assistant, there are multiple ways to achieve the same result. I'll run through the most simple example direct on the iPhone, but you can also configure this through YAML. On your iPhone, navigate to the Home Assistant app, navigate to Settings, navigate to the Companion app. Press the Actions button. Now press the Add button. We're going to add a new action. We give the action a name. Make this simple. Now give it a text. This will be displayed in Apple CarPlay. Press Done. At this point, it gives you the option to set the text color and the background. In my testing, this did not actually work. If you manage to get the text color and the background to work on your CarPlay, then please leave a message in the comments below. Set an icon. 
Now press save. Now remember to press the back button for settings. It is important to press done. Now we need to link the action we defined on the Apple CarPlay to an automation within Home Assistant. You can either link this on your Home Assistant companion app or on a desktop. For ease of demonstration, let's use a desktop. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Scenes, Create an Automation, Create an Automation. We're going to add a trigger, search for and select Manual Event. In the event type, type ios.action underscore fired, all in lowercase. In the event data, type action, all in lowercase, followed by name in uppercase, colon, space, quote, and the name of the action that you defined inside of your Home Assistant companion app. In my case, dad home. Now scroll down to the then do and press action. We're going to announce on the study speaker that dad's home. We're going to search for and select call service. Inside of the service, search for and select notification on the Amazon Alexa speaker in the study or whichever speaker you require. Now type in your message, press the tick box on the title and give it a title and press save. Give it an appropriate name and press save. Now you can test this out. Press the three dots to the right of the call service and press run and you should hear your message. That's home. Back in the car with Home Assistant open within the Apple CarPlay and open on the Actions tab, you should see your newly created action. Pressing the action will trigger the automation that you just created back on the desktop and the message of Dad's Home will play on the study speaker. Dad's Home. This is a great start for Home Assistant running in Apple CarPlay and sets the foundation for many more advanced features to follow. I'm sure the hardest part of the whole process was the certification from Apple. That said, expect a lot more videos to come on how to utilize this feature in future and answer all your questions. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration and configuration of Home Assistant in Apple CarPlay. And if so, then give it a thumbs up. If you like content like this, then please consider subscribing and joining the channel. And if you want to be notified of similar content, such as the next installment of Home Assistant on Apple CarPlay, then ding that bell. Until the next one, keep your eyes on the road and not on your home assistant.